My next book, Split, is about being estranged from my parents and my siblings. I was estranged from one sibling before Swing came out, and then just a few days after Swing came out, unrelated, unrelated to the subject of Swing, because my family read that a year and a half in advance, I had a conversation with my parents, and the direction that it went, I realized, holy shit, I think that, I think we're going no contact. I think this is our last conversation that we're going to have. And of course, this this wasn't a, there was a lot of history that led up to this, to being at the end of one's wit, as, as one could say. I'm going to write about it in Split, but what I'm going to write about even more in Split is dealing with the stigma of being someone who's estranged. I grew up thinking only very, very bad people don't talk to their families. Terrible people. Only terrible people can't get along with their families. So, terrible person reporting from the front step. So that's what I'm going to write about because holy moly, I'm still working through it. I'm working through it to a point that I can write about it because I follow the rule to write about, to write from my scars, not my wounds. Okay. So I am at a point with these stories where other people's reactions to them, like, you know, because n not everybody is going to agree with my decisions. There's going to be a lot of people in my audience who read my book and are like, or even just know this about me and are like, you fucking bitch. You can split, you know, you can skedaddle down the road. That's fine. Not everybody's going to agree, but I want to be at a place. I want to be at a place where no one's reactions to my stories will affect my healing from those stories. Okay. That my healing is at a place where people's reactions don't throw me off the wagon. I'm not an alcoholic. My recovery is um, sort of nondescript in its way. You know, you could say perfectionist recovery, you could say codependency, you could say whatever. Um, you could say, I'm just a terrible person who doesn't want to get along with my family. That's what you could say. Okay, so there are some like wounds that I think are going to always stay open. Not being in relationship with your family is sort of like having a phantom pain. It's like a phantom, you know, a phantom, like you're amputated and there's something missing that you feel like supposed to be there. And then in other ways, it's like, oh my God, I wish I did this sooner because the peace and the ease can't be beat. There is a lot of sadness, but overall I would say I am joyfully estranged. Not because I don't wish I was in uh, that family and it was really happy, but because I tried a lot of different things in a lot of different ways and it did not lead to happiness. Like I was in like that corn maze fucking working working. And, um, I could not find my way. I could not find my way. And then one day I just went, okay, I give up. I can't, I can't do this. Um, and I got the fuck out of Dodge because I'm a terrible person. Maybe I am because I couldn't do it anymore. Um, yeah, but there's still a stigma around that that I even judge myself for. Like, so I'm saying there are some uh, wounds, which I'm just like riding around, like I scratch a mosquito bite around it. 